This is the speech test. The speech test is testing for general biceps pathology, including a superior labral tear. It can also test for general biceps instability, usually in the shoulder area, as well as biceps tendonitis. This test has a sensitivity of 90, which means it's very good at identifying those who have a pathology, but it has a specificity of 14, which means it's not very good at identifying those that do not have a pathology. So, Meg here is going to be my patient. Her starting position is she's going to have her arm, whichever arm I'm testing, so do your right arm, is going to be up at 90 degrees, shoulder flexion. Her palm is going to be supinated. What I'm going to do as a therapist is I'm going to take usually the left hand and I'm going to place it in the bicep little groove. The groove is right over here in the back. If you raise it, you could, you could find that this little groove right here. So I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to place my other hand on top of her forearm. This is where I'm going to give her resistance. So for this test, she's going to bring her arm up and I'm going to push her arm down, but she's not going to actually move. So go ahead. Okay. And then the second part of this test is to flip your hand into pronation. Again, she's going to try to bring her arm up, but she's not going to move. So a positive for this test would be pain in the supinated more than the pronated. And it would be usually in the bicep little groove. There can also be tenderness within the bicep little groove or an inability to maintain the starting position, which would either be, which would usually be supinated. There is a second version. The second version would be again starting in the top position, but this time her arm is by her side. And the same deal is going to happen. I'm going to put my hand in her bicep little groove, put my other hand on her forearm, and she's going to bring it up. But this time, she's actually going to be able to bring it all the way up. Okay. And then the second part, she's going to pronate her arm. Same thing. Okay. Again, positive signs in this test are pain in the bicep little groove. If she can't move her arm past the starting position, then that is also a positive sign. Uh, and if she has any tenderness within the bicep of the groove while trying to lift her arm, then that's a 